Hi, my name is Jay Berkowitz from 10goldenrules.com. I'm also the founder of internetmarketingclub.org, a free online community where you can network and learn all about internet marketing. Today we're going to talk about link building. We're going to talk about what links are, why is everyone talking about these backlinks, where do they come from, and we're going to talk about some strategies for building links to your website. So let's take a look at a straightforward Google search and I'll explain the importance of links. This is a search for live domain auction. Moniker.com comes up number two in the Google results and the free results on the left hand side for live domain auction. Now this is the kind of real estate you want to take advantage of. You want to come up in Google searches for your products and services. Now there's two critical things in Google that are going to get you to the top of the search engine. Number one, you have to have the words on your website. So Moniker has a section all about their live domain auctions. Number two, you need lots of other sites linking to your website, making your website important. Links are like how Google evaluates how important your website is. This is a tool called SEO Quake, Q-U-A-K-E, and it's a little browser toolbar that I've installed. And when I'm surfing around the web, I see how important different websites are based on number one, Google's page rank, and number two, how many other sites link to their site. Now, Moniker's ranked a 6 out of 10. That's really, really important in terms of Google's um, page rank importance. And why they're so important is there's over 35,000 other sites that link to Moniker. These are little blue activated links on other websites that say, hey, go over to Moniker, you'll find out all about domain registration and live domain auctions. When I click on the links, I can find out which websites are linking to Moniker. And one of the first links is ICANN, the official internet registry that authorizes companies to create website registrations, web website registrars. So here's a link on ICANN which lists all the official registrars throughout the world. And so this is a very important link because this is from the official governing body of the industry. It's very, very important to have lots of links, but even more important is to have quality links like your industry body linking to you and link relevance. So other relevant websites in the domain name industry linking to Moniker, for example. Let's talk about some of the strategies to get links to your website. The first one is getting listed in a bunch of directories. For example, this is the um, business directory that and an actual link over to one of our clients' websites. Here's a DMOZ directory link to moniker.com. DMOZ is the original web directory. It's manned by volunteers and it's a great way to get a link over to your website. Here's a Yahoo link. Uh, Snapnames.com is in the Yahoo directory. Yahoo's a great place to get a link to your website. We use a bunch of strategies such as press releases, articles, social media websites to build links to a website and make that website more important. One of the advanced strategies I mentioned is called link baiting. And essentially what you're doing, like you would put bait on a fish hook to attract fish, you're putting bait on your website to attract people to link to your website. One of the strategies is creating a list. Here's the Power 150 list of the top blogs in the world. Now if you name someone to the top list of bloggers in the world, there's a good chance that blogger is going to say, hey, check it out, I'm on this list, and they're going to link to the list. That's baiting someone to link to your website. Here's a list we created, a top 10 list. And sure enough, folks are going to link back to that list and say, hey, we were put on the top 10 list at the 10 Golden Rules blog. So some advanced links, link bait strategies are creating lists, creating great tools or functionality on your website that people are going to link to and recommend, creating great white papers, and creating a list of the top 25 industry websites. So in conclusion, it's very important to get links to your website to make your website relevant and important in the eyes of Google and the other search engines. The best links are naturally occurring links when people say, hey, this is a great website, you got to check it out. But you can do a little bit to stimulate links by getting listed in directories, social media websites, and by using articles and public relations releases. And finally, link bait, creating something valuable on your website or a list of the top websites in your industry will bait folks to link to your website. Good luck building those links and the importance of your website.